Have you just upgraded to full fiber and you now want to know how to move your Fritz box over to your full fiber service? Well, in this video, I'll go through what you need to do this, how you do this, and when you need to do these steps. So to start with, we'll talk about when. When should you disconnect your Fritz box from its existing and working internet connection to move it over to your full fiber one? Well, you should only do this when the PON light is solid. Please do not disconnect your Fritz box from its existing internet connection before that light is solid or the engineer confirms it to be working as you'll essentially be connecting into nothing and you'll have no internet connection whatsoever. So, keep it connected to a working line until that one is set up. Now, what do you need? Well, apart from a solid PON light on the ONT, you'll also need one of these. Now this is either an ethernet, RJ45 or network cable. It's multiple names for the same thing. Now this is the one that was supplied with the router, but you can use any of the cables you may already have or one you want to purchase just please, please make sure that it is compatible with the speeds of your service, as you may have a 900 speed product, but the cable is only able to give you speeds of up to 100. So please make sure that you're using the correct cable. Now what you want to do is get the cable and connect it into the yellow port on the underside of your ONT, like so. And you're going to leave that and move over to your Fritz box. At this point, you want to unplug the power from your Fritz box, and then you also want to unplug the DSL. And this is the one that goes into the gray port on the back. Now, you want to move the Fritz box over to wherever your ONT has been installed. Take the cable that you've plugged into the bottom of the ONT, and this piece is really important, plug it into LAN 1. It has to be LAN 1, it can't be any other port apart from LAN 1. And now that's plugged in, plug the power into the Owen, into the Fritz box like so. And the Fritz box will begin to boot up. Now, if this is a new install, you may find that this will work immediately. However, if you're upgrading or moving over, there's a chance that you may need to log into the router and adjust some settings. Don't worry, this is really easy to do. I'll go through that here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Fritzbox main interface. You can access this by going to 192.168.178.1 on your web browser of choice. Once you've done this, you'll be greeted with this login screen. All you need to do is enter your Fritzbox password that you'll find labelled as such on the underside of your router. And once you've done this, click login. This will now take you to the Fritzbox main interface. You want to go to the menu on the left hand side and select internet. And then you want to select account information. Now under the internet connection tab, you want to go to internet service provider and ensure that Zen internet is showing here. If it's not, or if it says other internet service provider for example, Click on the drop down and select Zen Internet. Once you have done this, you go to account information below. And if you're reusing a router that you've used previously, your username and password will show here. Your password will show as four stars. This is absolutely fine. But if you want to re-enter it just for your own peace of mind, feel free to do so. If this has no details here, you can get your username and password from your Zen portal, which you'll find the link here or I'll put the link in the description below. Once you're happy, go to change connection settings and then leave maintain permanently ticked, but change via the Fritz box to via an external modem. Now under downstream and upstream, you want to enter 1000 as no matter what package you're on, this will cover those speeds. And once you've done this, all you need to do now is click apply and those settings will be applied to your Fritzbox. Now this window here is just informing you 
as we discussed previously, that LAN 1 on the Fritz box is going to become the WAN port. So any devices that you connect to LAN 1 from this point forward will not work. Only the ONT will work via LAN 1. When you're happy, click OK. And those settings are being applied, and that's it. Your Fritzbox 7530 will now work for your full fiber service. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please click on that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please click on that subscribe button. But until next time, thank you very much.